Raymond understands that he's a little too early to celebrate the day when Americans culturally appropriate the Irish. Let him f*** live. Assuming you read the problem and the givens in the description, for part A, we need to answer the question. We are given that the lens are converging or convex. The real image will be reversed which is your answer for part A. For part B, we need to find the ideal distance between the lens and the slide in order to get an image that is 2 meters by 2 meters. Raymond forgot what M stands for in the equation but there will be two M's based on Y and Y naught and F prime and F. We must use the equation M equals Y divided by Y naught. Also, the lens is convex, so the equation must be negative. First, we are given that the height of the image is 2 meters which we can plug in for Y. Y naught is the height of the real image which is 2 centimeters, therefore we may plug in 0.02 meters for Y naught. Divide the two eyes and the answer is probably minus 100 meters. And now for SM equals S prime over S due to the concave lens, the equation must be negative again. We are looking for S at the moment, so multiply both sides by S over M for the two to switch sides. We calculated M to be minus 100 meters and the screen is 10 meters away from the lens which we can plug in for S prime. Now solve for S the distance between the lens and the slide is probably 0.1 meters which is the answer for part B. Domo arigato Mr. Roboto. Domo for part C, we have to check if the slide is on focus of the screen when the focal length is 9.9 centimeters. First of all we are given that S prime or the distance from the screen to the lens is 10 meters. Second, we calculated the distance from the slide to the lens is 0.1 meters. We have to find a new S prime from the thin lens equation. If the S primes are equal, the slide is focused on the screen. Now we must rearrange the thin lens equation in order to isolate S prime. Multiply both sides by F, S prime and F to remove the denominators and it would probably end up with S prime F plus San Francisco equals S prime F. Subtract S prime from both sides to put the S primes on the same side, so that the S primes can factor out. Divide both sides by S minus F and you would get San Francisco divided by the quantity of S minus F. Now plug 0.099 meters for F and plug in 0.1 meters for F, and you would get that S prime we just calculated does not equal 10 meters, therefore the slide is not on focus with the screen answering part C. For part D as in delta, we have to find the new distance between the slide and the lens now that the screen is 2 meters from the lens. Again, we must rearrange the equation, but now S is being isolated. Take the thin lens equation again and remove the denominator like in part C as in Charlie making S prime F plus S F equals S prime F. Subtract both sides by S F so that S can be factored out. Divide both sides by S minus F, and we just isolated S. Plug in 0.099 meters for F and 2 meters for S prime. You'll probably get 0.104 meters to answer part D. For part D as in echo, we are looking for the new height of the image after the screen became 2 meters behind her lens. The height of the image is proportional to the image's length from the lens, so the equation needed is Y over U. <coughs> equal to S prime over S, we are looking for the new height of the image, which is the variable Y as in Yankee. Multiply both sides by Y the <coughs> not to isolate Y. Y not was given to us at the beginning, which was 0.02 meters. So plug that in for Y naught. Plug in 2 meters for S prime, which comes from the new S prime from part D as in delta. Plug in the 0.104 meters calculated from part D as in delta for F. Your answer should be 0.385 meters or 38.5 centimeters. Pee pee poo poo pipe pipe. Now Raymond can take a shot. The sun is up.